for family prayer time, it's good to read your Bible together um, because prayer is about talking to God, but it's also listening. And, and I always feel like when you read the Bible, it's God's word. So he's talking to us. And so we're going to pray through the Psalms. So, Peter, what Psalm are we going to do? Um, we're going to do Psalm 1. Psalm 1, the very first Psalm in um, the Bible. And what's Psalm 1 all about? Well, it's about, um, it's better to use wisdom than to spend time with sinners and that you'll be like a tree that um, is full of fruit. Oh, wow. So basically it's the difference between um, following God and not following God, isn't it? Um, the consequences of being wicked um, is destruction and following God is good stuff. It's good stuff, mm. fruit. Um, brilliant. So what we're going to do then is we're going to read Psalm 1 as a prayer. Uh, a lot of the Psalms are prayers. And what we love about the Psalms is that this is people pouring out their heart to God, being honest, being truthful. So let's pray. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and, and they prosper in all they do. But not the wicked. They are like worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Father God, I pray that we'll learn stuff from these psalms and that we'll remember we're talking to you and that we need to listen to you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 